People came to my school to tell me the dangers of smoking. I remember thinking, oh, shut up. It's none of your business. I'm not hurting anyone but myself. And that is so far away. Nothing is going to happen to me until I am old and ready to die. So it does not matter. And so I live my life by this decision and nothing would change that until it was too late. It was just me at first and I was making my own way through life until one day I would become a father of a little girl and that would change everything. It was no longer about me. It was about her and everything I knew about life had changed. Now I was diagnosed with end-stage COPD and told if I was lucky, I had five years left to live. My daughter had to watch the terror as they worked very hard to get me to breathe again as I was suffocating and struggling for my life for four hours. I would have to have lung reduction surgery just to make me more comfortable with the time that I have left. I would do this just prior to my grandson being born, not knowing if I was going to make it through the surgery to meet him. It was an epic struggle one day after getting out of intensive care to fight for my life in great pain with almost no physical strength, just to live long enough to meet my grandson. Two years after he was born, my granddaughter was born. There is an intensity of love that transcends anything I have ever known when it comes to grandchildren. I find I have so much to live for, so very little time left to enjoy it. Only too late do I realize that I am not just hurting myself. I am hurting my daughter who lost her mother to lung cancer just a few years ago. And I look into the eyes of my grandchildren and I see the deep love they have for me. And I know I am going to break their poor little hearts. I am bringing pain to my family and all of my close friends. How did I live this lie in such ignorance? And besides, I'm not an old person and I certainly am not ready to die. I was just like you. Don't be just like me.